Welcome to the series of Blender Tutorials. In this tutorial, we shall look at the hardware specifications and requirements for Blender 2.59. This script has been contributed by Chirag Raman. First up, we shall look at what the official Blender website has to say about the hardware requirements. Open your internet browser. I am using Firefox. 3.09. In the address bar type www.blender.org and hit the enter key. This should take you to the official Blender website. For ease of demonstration, I have already loaded the system requirements page. Blender is free and open source. Blender 2.59 works on nearly all operating systems. For this tutorial, I am using Windows XP operating system. Different parts of Blender are dependent on different pieces of computer hardware. A faster CPU and more RAM can help to increase rendering speed, while the speed of the Blender interface, viewports and real-time engine is influenced by the speed of the graphics card. Fast and large hard drives can also speed up work when dealing with large video files. As you can see, the Blender organization shows hardware specifications for three sections of usage, minimum, good and production levels. The minimum hardware specifications required to run Blender are 1 GHz single core CPU, 512 MB RAM, 1024 by 768 pixels display with 16 bit color. 3 button mouse open gl graphics card with 64 mb ram the good specifications level includes 2 gigahertz dual core cpu 2 gb ram 1920 by 1200 pixels display with 24 bit color 3 button mouse open gl graphics card with 256 or 512 MB RAM. Production level hardware specifications will be 64 bits multi core CPU, 8 to 16 GB RAM, 2 times 1920 by 1200 pixels display with 24 bit color, 3 button mouse plus tablet, open GL graphics card with 1 GB RAM, ATI Fire GL or NVIDIA Quadro. To make sure you meet any one of the specified levels, you need to check your system configuration. Minimize your browser window. Go to the control panel. Once here, double click on the system icon. So, here you can see the current specifications of your machine and compare it against what the Blender Foundation suggests. Most Windows operating systems are either 32-bit or 64-bit. I am using 32-bit Windows. The terms 32-bit and 64-bit refer to the way the CPU handles information. The 64-bit version of Windows handles large amounts of RAM more effectively than a 32-bit system. Also, if you are planning to invest in a new computer for Blender, it would be a good idea to check out this article over at www.blenderguru.com slash the ultimate guide to buying a computer for Blender. This guide gives you detailed information about operating system, CPU, RAM, Graphics Card, Case, and Hard Drive.
So that completes the tutorial on the hardware requirements for running Blender. This tutorial is created by Project Oscar and supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on the same is available at the following links oscar.iitb.ac.in and spokentutorial.org slash nme ICT dash intro. The Spoken Tutorial Project conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Also gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please contact sptut email at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us. And this is Monisha from IIT Bombay signing off.